what's up guys it's lionel back again with another video and today i'm going to talk about the top three resources out here that are free and ways to learn how to code plus a little tips to stay motivated through the ups and downs because y'all know that out here stuff is crazy and i'm not one of those youtubers and i really can't st that you know the thumbnail they're just like i really cannot stand how they're like fear farming that shit right now i know that it's not easy but that's because it's it's because the course alone is not going to do it and some of y'all who follow me know that i'm i'm saying this every day in this journey of posting every day i think this is day 10 and it's crazy that i'm already at 300 subscribers so shout out to each and every single one of y'all who have wrote me who have joined the discord who have joined the school who have reached out that's the reason why i keep going and i'm practicing what i preach y'all saw me join the hackathon y'all see me out here every day and literally this is what you have to do to learn how to code and eventually get a job okay nobody said it was easy but it's not a, it's not impossible and if this is your dream, then you have to sacrifice to make it happen. You have to stay at it, stay at it. And stay at it does not mean just apply to stuff on LinkedIn. And indeed, if you've applied to 50 jobs, company jobs, you're bugging because no, that is not the way to do it. Sure, that's when every all that shit becomes true. But where I come from is you can't go in the front door you go in the back door <laughs> and there is so many other but you can make it happen for yourself okay so I always get to the job stuff but I'm gonna get to the you know the main thing of this video is the three things that I personally use to learn how to code now quick little bit about my story let's start with me being a truck driver that was the time where I really locked into learning how to code. And I started with Free Code Camp. Free Code Camp it was free. I kind of didn't like it because it was um, text only. There was no video and that was a big bummer for me. But the good thing about that is if you start with, I believe it is responsive web design and JavaScript uh, data structures, structures and algorithms, the purpose of us going through free code camp is not to be able to do everything with our eyes closed. It's not to be able to memorize every single function in integer or CSS. We're really gonna blow through that shit, but you want to at least be able to talk the language. You don't want to be completely lost in the future when you're when you're talking to a senior developer and they start saying like, you know, um, an algorithm or something and you don't even know what an algorithm is you don't even know what a function is you don't even know what a loop is you want to have an idea of what this stuff is but you do not need to be able to write it so don't get held up taking a year to finish free code camp okay get it get it out the way and then move on to the second thing the second thing that i did actually did cost it was i believe 25 a month but they do have a free option, if I'm not mistaken, and that was Team Treehouse. And Team Treehouse helped me get deep in my understanding um, because they have videos and they have great teachers. And not only that, they also have an environment where you don't have to like download the project files just to work along with it. They have, uh, what is it called, like remote module or something like that, that you can open up to work along with the stuff that you're learning and that i i literally just canceled my team treehouse membership like two months ago you know just because whenever i wanted to feel like i really got something locked in or i was i was stuck on something i would go back to I'd be like okay i need to team treehouse this if i couldn't find it on um you know like let me all right i'm about to be working with firebase let me see if team treehouse has a firebase okay the third thing is um 100 devs i'm part shout out to leon noel shout out to ketchup crew shout out to 100 devs i don't care if it's going to take all my subscribers away if all y'all need to search 100 devs go there and never see my videos again then i'll know that i sent you off to a right place where you will you know you'll make it to the promised land 
regardless just like how i did you know that's how impactful leon noel and his community and everything that he has going on over there i don't know how so many of y'all are finding my videos because i'm not even putting it inside the title but y'all are pulling up so i'm always going to shout you out and i do have a bonus i have a bonus um what, what else fire ship no 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 yes yes fire ship is is god like but i was thinking about net ninja net ninja on youtube i, I think it was like two dollars for his courses or something or something like that on his website but he has very very good he has everything on his youtube man net ninja and then for if y'all knew me you know that i'm a huge anime head uh, you can see in the back and um i'm a huge ninja fan so that caught me right off right off jump and he just explains everything for some reason in a way that i could really understand it so yeah those are the um those are the free slash very low priced resources and i know that you know i feel bad for a lot of y'all who took expensive boot camps and still didn't get the results that you wanted i almost did the same thing when i was trying to learn on myself i kind of said uh, people keep telling me the music be too loud i almost said um you know what maybe if i went to a boot camp that's what i need maybe i just need a boot camp if i get away and i just lock myself in but honestly you know to, to throw in a little bit of of story time in there what did it for me was making websites for people whoever does your hair if they have a website if they don't make it for them look at ask them is it old you know everybody you know who could possibly need a website you are a web developer now you're you're not learn i mean you're learning but you got to you got to create create your own um create for people everyone who knows you should know that you're a web developer now you have to code in your free time you know you have to sacrifice to to get to where you want to be you have to make a linkedin you had your linkedin has to say that you're a web developer you know you have to show the things that you build on linkedin you have to send friend requests to web developers you have to go to where the web, web developers are put yourself in the room with the web developers find a conference to volunteer at go to code ninjas or teach kids how to code start a meetup yourself you have to do these things the mistake and what makes them take those youtube videos with the thumbnails like this you know is because of this path of the path of i went to a boot camp i got from lesson zero all the way to lesson 100 and then i did my pro my um you know graduation projects and then i went and googled jobs and started applying because the problem with that is that you don't know these people and that's just the way you might hit the lottery some people do hit the lottery but i've seen a lot of people had my experience where nobody writes you back and i didn't keep banging my head against that wall though i might have tried like once or twice but honestly that's how i've had to get it my whole life i've had to actually like you know <sighs> It was the universe it was always the universe and it was always like luck slash you know the most high looking out you know and it's just like manifesting you have to you have to move and shake out of in the world okay there's so many different things that you could be doing that you're probably not doing you know just to be just to be straight up don't act like you're you're trying every single thing because there's so many things that you could be doing that you're not doing all right get yourself a whiteboard you know go to sleep on time wake up early on your day off spend your entire day off at barnes and noble 
spend your entire day off at the coffee shop you know spend your entire day off volunteering at a javascript conference search javascript conference near me you know i traveled for this i sacrificed a lot of time for this a lot of time when everybody else was going out and i had no idea what netflix show what i was missing out on you know when everybody was talking about the show and everything like that i was grinding for like a year and a half two years i finally started getting some some clients and some opportunities and i ran with it and i even um you know i started i did a lot of footwork before getting my chance before finally getting my chance but when that my time came for the interview i was prepared i had done so much that it showed that i can do anything i still am not super one percent developer i still could not pass a technical interview to this day but i am working as a software engineer who specializes in full stack development with startup so i just it just goes to show that with enough determination with enough every day every single day you know take a day off if you have to but you better feel bad about it <laughs> and you better know that you're tripping and you know the next day go back after your dream if you're one of us, you don't belong at that office. You don't belong at that warehouse. You don't belong where you don't want to be, you know, and life is too short to be where you don't want to be. We're the builders. We're the digital builders. We build, we help people's ideas come into this world, you know. We are the ones who interpret from people to machines we are the middleman from the imagination of the human to the machine that is a special thing and if you have that calling inside of you if you found this video you know and if this video is helping you you don't belong there where you gotta go you know i'm so glad i don't have to go to that place no more you know what i mean fuck that place <laughs> because and it's just because it wasn't for me and if you're watching this there's a high chance that it's not for you and before you give up you better be doing every single thing that you need to be doing okay don't kid yourself if you're not really giving it your all okay somebody needs to tell you that that if you are not going at it don't call yourself a builder okay <laughs> you half ass in it bro all right y'all you got this peace <laughs>